What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bonnie and this is my channel where I talk about all things lifestyle and DIY. So if you're interested in either of those, make sure you hit subscribe down below and turn on those notifications. Today we're going to be doing a super easy DIY Dollar Tree hanging sign. All of the items that I purchased are going to be from the Dollar Tree. So if you want to see that, just keep watching. All right guys, so the items that I got were the this love makes a house a home sign. So it's just MDF board and then it's got a cute little frame around it that's like natural wood. And then uh, these hanging hearts, they came in one piece. It's for the front door I'm assuming because it says welcome on it on the top side. And then it just has a bunch of different hearts on them all the way down. And then I picked up some paint brushes. If you guys didn't know, I am at my mother-in-law's for a couple more days before we head back to California. So I have zero supplies on me. So everything I have is from the Dollar Tree. I have never used multi-purpose spray glue before. So we are going to see how that works. I got a sanding block just in case I need that. We got some paint here. So I have like the super hot pink. And then um, we have this white here. And then this Dollar Tree had this really cool Buffalo check. Um, fabric so I picked that up as well so everything that you see here cost me less than $15 um, possibly even less than $10 I bought a couple of other things so my total was a little bit higher than normal but all right let's go ahead and get started all right guys so I apologize for the horrible setup and the terrible lighting but this is what I've got to work with so we're gonna make it work um, I just grabbed a pair of scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the fabric This is actually a nice size fabric for a dollar. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this to the size of the frame and then I'm gonna cut it. So I'm going to kind of use these checkers as a guide because I think that will be able to give me like the straightest cut um, because the frame is pretty straight so I want it to be as straight as possible with just using scissors. Alright guys, so now that I have my fabric piece cut out, I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive spray and attach it to the sign. Alright guys, so I have the fabric on here and this would have been a lot easier had I had a box cutter, but uh, <laughs> I cut off a little bit too much on the bottom here so you can see it, but you kind of get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. And so something else that I probably should have done was paint the background white because you can kind of see the design through the fabric, but maybe not from this far away. So I'm just going to keep going and pretend like everything is perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside for now because we are done with that and then I'm going to go ahead and take this. So now you're going to want to decide which one of these hearts that you want to use. Um, I'm only probably going to be using one and I don't know which one I want to use yet. I really kind of like this one because it says welcome on it so this door or this um, sign can still be a door hanger. But I feel like this one's going to be just a little too much, so I think I'm just going to go with one of the simple hearts and go ahead and paint over that. So these are just attached to each other with what looks like tape, so I'm just going to go ahead and try and remove that. Yes, so it comes off pretty easily if you just take that and pull. 
So now I have the heart that I want to use. I went and got a plastic bag because I do not want to be cleaning up all of the glitter afterwards. So just take the sanding block and sand away. Okay guys, so I got the majority of the glitter off. There is still some glitter on there, but that's stuff that you're not going to be able to get off without taking off all of the paint. And then it gets to the MDF board and it starts fraying and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop here and start painting. So this is the pink paint that I got from the Dollar Tree. It is actually like a very hot pink and I kind of want it to be a little bit more on the baby pink side so I'm going to go ahead and mix this paint with white and see what we can get. This is actually a stencil brush that I got from the Dollar Tree but I'm going to go ahead and use this to mix up the paint and apply it. Alright guys, so this is actually an epic fail because this paint is very, very see-through. Um, you can still see the design on it and I don't honestly think more coats of this paint is going to help it. So plan B is I am going to use one of the hearts the way it is. Alright guys, so you remember this little guy here and how I said I liked the welcome on it? This is exactly what I'm going to use and I'm not going to do anything to it. So let's go ahead and remove the tape from the back. these aside but look how cute that is I kind of actually really like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this string off instead of attaching it you can leave it or keep it or take it off so I'm just gonna take my adhesive spray spray the back of this Honestly, I don't know how much adhesive spray you need, but since this is a pretty heavy piece of stuff, I'm just going to lay it on there. Make sure it looks pretty centered. And press down. easy DIY sign from the Dollar Tree. All right guys, that was my super easy or super kind of easy DIY hanging sign from the Dollar Tree. If you guys enjoyed this video and watching me completely fail at this DIY, make sure you hit that thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.